Welcome again to Off Grid Cyprus. How to make a mini forest in one season. We're going to use a tree, which is the one behind me here, called the Lucina. I'm going to take you through six simple steps to make this forest. And I can show you because we're doing it. First of all, you need to know that this Lucina tree um, is part of the Mimosa tribe um, and also placed in the Mimosa Casia. Um, it's a shrub or tree up to 18 meters tall, um, forked when shrubby and branching strongly after coppicing. Now this particular tree we cut this back a while back and it has just grown tremendously since then. Um, prefers subhumid and humid climate so it's perfect for cypress. Um, of 650 to 1500 millimeters of rain and up to 3000 millimeters which we don't get around here annual rainfall and tolerates up to seven months dry season so when they're established you don't need to water them which is you know particularly good for cypress do not tolerate waterlogged soils or extended period of floods again we don't need to worry about that um, requires temperatures of 25 to 30 degrees for uh, optimum growth which is terrific and growth ceases at 15 to 16 degrees, so that's like the winter period in Cyprus. Light frost will kill the leaf, a heavy frost will kill the stems back to ground level, but will not kill mature plants. Okay, so that's an introduction. Behind me is our very mature 10 year old Lucina tree. Now this has never been managed. The only thing we've ever done is cut it back when we had to feed one of our animals because the, the leaf content is very high in protein. So you can see that this grows to about six or seven meters and when it's not managed there are uh, lots of branches that come off and it's quite mature. So we can cut this back at any time and benefit from the wood for fire and the foliage for uh, rabbits and sheep, goat, any kind of livestock, any ruminants that is. So um, as you can see this is, and this is not watered through a cypress summer and still it's doing very well. Now the next thing that you can see right in front of me here is the first step of growing this forest. These pods contain 20 to 25 seeds in each one and there are handfuls of them. So I'm just going to collect a few now and then we'll go to stage two. Stage two. You collected the pods and now you open them. There is about 20 to 25 seeds. You can see them here. Each lump is a seed and this time of year, September, they are just dry enough. When they first come onto the tree they're all green so you know that they're not ready until they're brown. Okay, so I just open these up. Sometimes I just crunch them like that and all the seeds fall out so it's a bit quick away and you think you've got all the seeds out and just throw them away. Here you can see I've got maybe in a very short space of time 200 maybe 300 seeds. That's the result okay so we've that's five minutes work. Very simple water has just boiled in the pan. This is the scarification process the water has just boiled in the pan and these are 200 seeds 300 seeds maybe. Put them in the pan, swirl them around a little bit. This is the scarification process. The water's just boiled in the pan, the seeds go in there, you just swirl them around a little bit, put it down and leave it till the morning. So the other part of stage three is actually preparing the seeds for germination. You saw me yesterday put the seeds into boiling water so I'm just going to drain that off a little bit and you can see there's all the seeds we did yesterday. Okay. Now you can see even what's left in the pan here, you can see dark ones and you can see light ones. My preference is for the light ones because when you take them out they should feel a little bit slimy. Like uh, they're covered in soap. That's part of the, the shell coming off and actually 
when these uh, do germinate you can see that they split open so this is stage three okay the next stage is to put them in some soil and watch them grow